let's talk about how you can use bell curves in hypothesis testing. So they're going to be most helpful when we are comparing our critical value to our test statistic. So for example, let's say it's a left tail test and we have this bell curve here. Our critical value, we found out that that was negative 1.645. Since it's a left tailed test, that means everything to the left of your critical value is something that we will call the rejection region. So if your test statistic falls within that rejection region, that would tell us that we need to reject the null hypothesis. In our case here, our test statistic, or our z-test, was negative 2.55. That is, in fact, within that rejection region. So our conclusion would be to reject the null hypothesis. If our test statistic did not fall within the rejection region, then we would not reject the null. And the same kind of thing can happen here for a right-tailed test as well. We would just have the critical value and to the right being our rejection region. So for two-tailed tests, since we have two critical values, right, the plus and the minus, we are going to have two rejection regions. So if anything falls to the left of negative 1.645, or if it falls to the right of positive 1.645, then it's falling within a rejection region, and we would once again have to reject our null hypothesis.